Okay, good morning, good morning, guys. Yeah, look at this. We stopped here at a uh, rest area and uh, decided uh, we'll have our half an hour break here before uh, we get into Minneapolis. Yeah, look at that traffic right there. Just one car after another, right? So, uh, I figured, well, it's probably going to be pretty bad rush hour right now in, Chica in uh, Minneapolis. So, I figured I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and have me a little pit stop here. I still have some milk and everything inside the truck there. So, I'm going to have me some cereal here and all that good stuff. But, uh, yeah, looks like them leaves are starting to fall over here as well. I don't know if this rest area is actually closed or or what, but it says no running water or no water. I don't know if that means the rest area is closed or let's see, no, it's open. Let's see. We'll see we can just no it's locked. Alright. I guess we can't use the restroom. Yeah, apparently they got no water over here, so we gotta if we want to use the restroom we gotta go use them outhouses out there i don't know if you can see them there them blue ones over there but uh yeah i might do that later i might but apparently they got no running water i guess they froze up already <laughs> doesn't make no sense but oh well whatever feels like we do have a little bit of a breeze going on here today so but anyways, let's go have us some cereal and then we'll get out of here. It is time to get back on the road. Well, I kind of did already, but uh, yeah, it is definitely time to get back on the road. I think we need to be in the left lane if memory serves me right. Well, not all the way in the left lane, but kind of in the center lane here. So I believe that's correct, but then again, what do I know? I need to look for the uh, 694 bypass <clears throat> because my GPS is always going to route me right through Minneapolis and I do not want to do that I want to go around so that's what we're going to do follow the signs for that 694 and we'll go around but yeah had our half an hour break there at the rest area now it's time to get back on the road and get some miles behind us yes indeed looks like the sun is nice and bright this morning beautiful sunshine so we're gonna take that any day of the week instead of snow oh yeah that is for sure to the left on I-35E. That's what we will do then, RJ. I don't think it's too much further though, and then we gotta take that 694 bypass, but hey, that's what we're gonna try and attempt to do. But yeah, it looks like it's gonna be a good day today. That would be a huge lift off of my shoulder if it was. I'm just sitting there worrying about my truck all day long. I know it doesn't do me any good, but I've been doing that yesterday all day long. So far she's running good. But we'll see what happens today, right? Here we are now officially in Iowa, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. And we're just cruising right on along here. Just enjoying our day and looking at all these dry, dry cornfields up here that they haven't harvested yet. I'm surprised they haven't taken care of that, you know, like, it's like almost dry to the point where it's going to fall down, you know, like, that's how dry that corn is already, but it just seems like they're not working on it. I don't know if they think it's not good enough, the, the crop, or... Well, if they really just haven't gotten to it or what the case is but whatever we're just cruising right along there we're probably going to go up there to elk heights elk runs heights i think it's called up there 
they're on the 380 there probably go up to the flying J over there and probably gonna go take me a shower over there and then uh, we'll continue on after that I'll probably fuel up and take a shower and then continue on cruising along right that's the plan right now anyways so uh, so yeah we'll uh, continue on cruising along here and see what happens from here right but yeah it's beautiful sunshine I'm enjoying it we got some nice green grass down here yet doesn't even look like it's fall up here too much yet I mean you got a few trees that are turning yellow but other than that it's nice and green up here actually yep all right guys we have just gotten fuel here at the pilot there and took in us a shower had us a bite to eat looked at the truck a little bit because I'm still having some funny things happening so I am suspecting that my turbo might be gone but I can't say 100% for sure on what seems to be the issue but everything's quiet but my truck is smoking like crazy and it seems to have less and less power too and every once in a while I get like a whoo like that like a noise and it kind of cuts off my power <clears throat> it feels like it's sucking air or something like that you know it's not getting enough air and that would be an indication for me that the turbo is not pressurizing stuff at least that would make sense to me then again what do I know right I'm just a stupid truck driver right <laughs> That's what some people like to call us truckers. But hey, here we are. Back on the road again. Feels good to have a nice shower. At least we're nice and clean. In case something does happen and we gotta you not know, go to a shop somewhere or get towed or whatever, at least we had a we had a shower, right? So yeah. We still got us quite a few miles to go yet before we get to our delivery which we won't make today but we got 428 miles to go yet so uh, we'll have our work cut out for us I mean the up uh, you know this low doesn't have an appointment so I can deliver any time between midnight and midnight tomorrow so that's all I got to do uh, yeah, you're gonna be exiting here right away and go on a different road. We got a scale just after that, and I'm just looking in my mirror right now. The truck is pulling a little bit, and it's just smoking away, you know. Like, it's not even funny, that's how bad it's smoking. You hear that? Every once in a while it's kicking in a little bit more and it's slowing down, kicking in. It's kind of weird. Every time it kicks in a little bit, I see less smoke. And that would be an indication for me that the turbo is working, right? So I don't know what's going on. Hopefully we can make it home before we break down again. And I can look things over and see what's going on but I wouldn't be surprised if it has something to do with that gasket blow out there the other day because the turbo was loose and so I think it uh, kind of damaged the turbo I think but that wouldn't surprise me because it's not designed to do that right but we'll keep our fingers crossed and see what happens it is starting to get a little darker out here, yes indeed. A little bit more cloudy. Oh well, it's warmed up though. We got 22 degrees Celsius right now. That's pretty warm. Yes indeed it is. And we still have 289 miles. 
to go to our delivery place, but about 150 miles to go to Louis, St. Louis. And I think I'm going to stop just before St. Louis. I can probably do another two hours or so. And then I think I'm going to be done driving for today. I already got a little over seven and a half hours in today, so yeah, I figured that nine and a half hours be good enough for me today, probably. That'd be late enough anyways. I mean, Honestly, I wouldn't mind going through St. Louis, but uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll see. Once I get closer, I'll probably make that decision, but in all reality, it's already 15 after 4, and I still haven't gotten no reload offer yet, so... Uh, I am kind of thinking because it's a holiday today, nobody is really working there as a Southern Dispatch today. I know the Central Dispatch is always there, but, uh, well, not always, they go home for the night, but they're there every weekend and every holiday, but uh, I think that Southern Dispatch is not working today, so I don't know if they actually have a load for me or not, or if they got anything planned. And so if they don't have anything planned, then it's not really any use for me to uh, hurry up and get down there because uh, I'm just going to be sitting there anyways, waiting for a reload. Well, that doesn't do me any good. So I think then we're just going to go ahead and whatever, call it a day and get up when we get up and go down there, <laughs> I guess. That's what we're going to do. But yeah. We're still just cruising. It's been a good day though. I mean, the truck has been giving me a little issues here and there, but other than that, it's all right. At least we're getting down the road and it's not noisy. Alrighty guys, we are done for today. Yes, indeed we are. We're just at a uh, mom and pop stop right now and just calling her quits. I think we're like, uh, I don't know, half an hour, 45 minutes from St. Louis. And we decided to call her quits. Yes, indeed. Looks like it's starting to get kind of dark over there. So it's just a gravel lot over here. Not too many truck parking spots here, but whatever. It all, all I need is a park somewhere, right? Parking spot. That's all I really needed. So... <laughs> Well, it's kind of nice if you have a restroom too, and which they do have a little truck stop here, and you can go in and, you know, use the restroom and whatever, so that's kind of nice. And you can do that at least. <clears throat> so we are done. We're gonna go in the back and edit some videos up for you. And then we'll go to bed, and we'll continue our journey tomorrow. <laughs> behind me that day is gonna come